Hi everybody, Jared here. For those of you that don't know me, I'm the creator of many PPC tools like PPC Campaign Generator, Keyword Grouper, and PPC Report Generator. In this video, I'm going to show you an AdWords script that you can use to manage your AdWords campaign daily budgets. Usually, for a lot of paid search marketers, trying to hit that targeted spend goal that is given to you by your clients, or if it's just your own personal budget for AdWords, it's really hard to hit because, as you'll find out, setting your daily budget doesn't necessarily mean you're going to spend your targeted amount at the end of the month. So this script will completely automate all of that work for you. It rebalances your budget daily, or you can even rebudget it or rebalance it hourly. And so I'm going to show you how this script works and how you can get your hands on it. If you're not familiar with how scripts work, we have bulk operations over here on the left and then we go into scripts. You can create JavaScript scripts by clicking this button here. What happens is I would give you the script and you would use that script by simply adding it into this area here within your account. And don't worry about the details, I'll show you all the details on how to install it, how to get set up, because once you set it up, it will run automatically for you. No more manual work, no more having to pull reports down and readjust it and calculate the daily spend and how much it should be today and how much it should be tomorrow and how many days are left in the month. This script will do all that for you. So in this demo, I'm going to show you how this script actually performs, how well it performs. So let's look at this particular um, campaign. I have this script tied to a specific campaign. You can see it was set up um, on November 1st, 2013. Now let's take a look and see how well it did to hit our targeted budget amount. Okay, here we are. We have November 2013 all the way to April 2014. The number we're interested in is the cost. What did we spend? So in the first month, the budget was 40000 So in this month, we were actually a little under. And this was when I was testing the script. So there were we were working out a few bugs, but eventually um, we figured it out. And the next month, we spent $40,003. So it was only over by $3. The next month, it underspent by... I don't know, what is that, $31? Uh, the next month, it underspent by about 140 give or take. In the next month, it underspent by $0.02. Cents. And then actually the next month, it we changed the budget. It wasn't 40000 anymore, it was 38500 so it overspent by $50. But the, the takeaway here is that this script, I did not manually adjust a daily budget from the moment I put it in place. It completely automated and updated the daily budget for me based on the amount that was spent and based on the amount that was remaining. So this script is extremely powerful. It's going to save you so much time. And let me just give you a brief demo on some of the settings you can set within it to fit your needs. So this is a model in Excel, but basically the script works the exact same way. You have a start date, you have an end date, and this is the period where you want to actually spend a given amount of budget. In this model here, we have $5,000, let's say we're going to spend. And then there are two other settings that are really useful to people, such as, do I advertise on the weekend? If I didn't advertise on the weekend, um, I could put 0%, meaning I don't want to spend any money on the weekend. We only advertise on the weekdays. So you can see what happened to the graph over here on the week ends, we're spending zero dollars. And then, just for the sake of argument, we're gonna put 50%. So this means we would spend a little less on the weekends and more on the weekdays. So it's really flexible in that regard. Now let's discuss this volatility metric. So it's basically a value of one. That means we want no volatility. We wanna spend the budget evenly, there's no um, emphasis on the beginning or ending of the month. And what does that mean? 
it's really hard to explain, so let me just show you demonstration-wise. If I put a value greater than 1 in this box, like 1.1, .1, watch the graph and watch the trend line. So you notice the trend line actually is sloping down. And keep in mind, this blue line is what we would actually spend. It's just a, it's graphing our predicted actual spend based on a random variable. So this is basically simulating what we would spend randomly in a given day. But you'll see that we're saying, let's spend more at the beginning of the month. That way, we don't end up trying to spend a whole bunch at the end of the month. So spend more at the beginning of the month and uh, let it kind of work its way down. And then if we wanted to spend less at the beginning of the month and more at the end, we could put a value less than one. So you can see the trend line is actually increasing. So we would spend less in the beginning, more later on in the month. But for this demonstration, I'm just going to assume we want to spend evenly. Now this sum actual, it's actually summing these random variables of uh, spend. And let me just hit F9 to simulate how much we would actually spend. So this is just a simulation, but you can see that in general we're spending close to our budgeted amount. And like I said, you can control how how granular you want to get, how specific you want to get. If it's important that you hit that very cent, let me show you a quick way you can adjust this script to hit that exact targeted budget. So here we are, we are in the scripts section again. There's this schedule. You can schedule these scripts to run at certain periods of time. I have my script run running daily. For me, that's enough. I don't need to run it hourly, but if you really needed to hit that targeted spend, you could run it hourly, and the script would constantly rebalance itself based on what you've spent, based on how much is remaining, and it would do that every single hour. So I think that's a little bit of overkill, but for some, that might be great. I mean, and then let me show you an output of what it actually looks like. So here we are, we're looking at the details, and we can see that this campaign was updated from this value to this value, and that happened for this morning. Now let me briefly show you how it works. So the way it works is we use these Google spreadsheets, and these spreadsheets will allow you to change the budget. So whenever your client or whenever you need to change your daily budget, you don't do it in the AdWords interface anymore. You simply have this spreadsheet, which can contain multiple spreadsheets for each campaign budget that you're managing and you simply change this amount here. When you change this amount um, the script next time it runs will rebalance your AdWords campaign based on these dates. And then like we saw in the model we can adjust these parameters here and you can also set a minimum campaign budget to say no matter what happens don't ever go below this campaign daily budget. So that's kind of how the script works. It shows you what's been spent on the weekends, on the weekdays. It shows you the total remaining spend. It shows you how many days are remaining. And it shows you the average spend per day and then the average over 30 days. But more importantly, if you scroll down here, it can show you kind of a change history of what you actually spent the day before and what the budget was changed to today. And you can see this record to understand what the script is doing. That way you know exactly what's going on. So that is the AdWords budget management script in a nutshell. If you want to get this, um, visit AdWordsScript.com. It's still under process, it's still under construction, but by the time you see this video, you should be able to grab it there. Thanks a lot.